Hello to the biggest scratchers on the planet Earth. How are you guys doing today? Hope you're all happy and healthy. Today's video is going to be about uh, the game Apple, but more specifically, we want to talk about the part that is the level editor. So um, uh, this is what this was kind of a request. I think it was uh, by Rylan, Rylan Studios. By the way, if you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, you guys should definitely check him out. His, his games are great. He said, uh, "Okay, Chris, maybe you should make a uh, kind of a grid snapping kind of a tutorial and explain it." Although there is tutorials out there, I thought maybe I just kind of remake it. Anyways, so how is it that you know we can basically kind of position these very perfectly? uh beside each other without having it like kind of go halfway through um and it just basically very nicely snaps in place all right so i want to make something like a like a level maker like this uh, a very very simple one inside of scratch today so let's see uh by the way i've already kind of downloaded um uh griff patches um this kind of a sprite uh, I, I deleted all of the code, but I just kind of kept the sprites because there are a couple of things. First of all, it's beautiful. I didn't want to kind of waste time designing stuff. And second of all, there's a couple of things I want you to notice here. More specifically with these kind of a green 1111 um, tiles. Um, one thing that I want you to keep in mind is that the tile size matters when you're doing grid snapping. So like here, you can see that the size of this tile is it says 62 by 62 pixels that is all right so this is a very important number that you need to remember because basically what we are trying to do is to offset the position of the um of the tile with our mouse pointer position all right what do i mean by that well first of all let me just grab a um let me just kind of show you the mouse position. All right, I want to I want to get both X and Y. I'm not sure. Can we show it here directly? No. Okay. I think I need to make two variables. Um, let me get rid of all of these. Okay. I I hope I had deleted them beforehand. But anyways, okay. Don't don't pay attention to these. This is just um, some leftover variables from uh, from Griff Patch. Okay. Let me just get rid of here. All right. Sorry for wasting your time. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to keep this X and Y. I'm going to just use them. So, uh, let's, let's just say set X to that, and then we'll set Y to that. And then for, for now, I just want to kind of show you the values of the X and Y. All right. So if we say that, uh, if we say that we want this sprite to basically go to the position of my mouse pointer, and by the way, let me just kind of show them here, X and Y. Uh, if we say that we want the sprite to go to the to the mouse pointer position, let me change this one to Y. So you can see that we have like quite a lot of numbers here. Um, that are that are in the works. As a matter of fact, the numbers change by one. Okay, so if I want to, if I if I want to have this sprite directly go to my mouse pointer, it will have one pixel kind of a difference in each position. What do I mean by that? Let me grab a go to block from here quickly. Let's just say go to again. I get a mouse X and mouse Y from here. Okay, you can see that even if I move my mouse slightly, all right, this thing is still moving around, right? Which means if I wanted to, for example, position it here, then, um, uh, you know, it would, um, uh, what will happen is that it would just kind of be placed here. And then if I go slightly over, I can still place a tile, even if it's on top of it, all right? I don't want that to be the case. For any given position, for any given mouse position, I want this tile to be offset to a particular um, a position that is appropriate to the size of the tile. Meaning that I want to offset the X and Y to by 60, I think it was 62 pixels each time I'm moving around. 
okay? So how do we do that? Well, first of all, let me get rid of these two for now. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get rid of them. So here's how you're going to do it. First of all, you want to m divide this number, so the mouse x, you want to divide it by the number 62. So this is why I say the number 62 is important. You need to know the size of your tile. So we divide this one by the number 62, okay? So what does that do? Basically, that is going to give us um, you know, an offset value, all right? So right now, let's say for example, right now my um, Y is at 180, and uh, if we wanna divide, I think 180 by 62, let me, I'm dividing on my phone right now, 62, it's gonna give us 2.90, um, uh, you know, for the, for the result, okay? Now, that's the amount that basically it needs to, it's a tolerance for which it needs to kind of find out how much it needs to offset its position, all right? But I cannot kind of, I cannot use that number right away. I need to normalize it back to the size of the canvas or the renderer that I have, okay? So first of all, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna make sure this number is a round number. I don't wanna have any fractions, okay? I wanna have a round number. So I'm gonna gr grab this round thing from here and I'm gonna put this one right in here, okay? So like so, it's gonna, Let's actually, let me actually kind of show you what's going to happen if we, if we uh, play it like that. I'm going to duplicate this, although I'm going to have to kind of redo a lot of this, but let me show you what's going to happen right now. Put this one back in here. Okay. Look at here. You see that our, um, you know, our, uh, 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 you know, tile is moving, but it's not kind of moving properly to the place where it should be. The reason is these numbers have become so small. And by the way, it is at the time it is snapping, but it's snapping in the wrong place. Um, these numbers have become too small, so we need to normalize them back to um, uh, the original number. So a number between uh, four, I think uh, it's two, I think it's 240, so 480 by I think, um, I forgot what is the height of it. I think it's uh, 360. Forgot. Anyways, so we need to normalize it back. So all we need to do is to, again, multiply the number that we have made by that pixel number again. So I'm going to grab another pixel number. Uh, sorry, another mu multiply here, and then multiply it back by 62. I'm going to put it in here, and I'm going to do the same thing for this guy. I put it back in here, and... 62 okay and just like this you can see that now my movement is very snappy and it is snapping in the position that it's supposed to more specifically it is snapping just as the to the size of uh you know the tile that i have right now okay so now we can also kind of do like a positioning so what i'm going to do is just kind of um you know, we can just say, we can do it with clones, I guess. We could say, uh, if mouse down, if mouse down, then we can just say kind of clone, create a clone of myself. Then we kind of need to wait until we don't click anymore. So until we just kind of remove our hand, hand from, uh, from the mouse. So we can, we can just say, wait until not mouse down okay and let's try that so this way you can see i can kind of create these um kind of blocks here and uh you know it allows me to just kind of snap very nicely in place you can see there is no kind of a weird gap or anything in between anywhere all right so it's perfect for making levels all right so it's a great way for you to kind of uh kind of create levels for your games this is basically this can be a level maker or a level level editor for any game that you have more specifically i would say 
uh, you know, uh, platformers, but I, I think it can work with really any game. So if you have a game that needs this kind of a concept, I recommend you guys kind of learn it, uh, try to implement it in your in your own games as well. And, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, have have some fun with it. Anyways, uh, thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the, in the comments. Uh, if you want to support me, leave a like and share my videos with your friends as well. And uh, hope you have a good week and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.